I'm Brian Worley from the Photographer Academy and in this video I'm going to be looking at histograms. And we've just filmed the metering modes and we've shown you how different subjects, different colours of subjects are captured. But the histogram gives us an insight into what we've photographed and the distribution of the highlights and the shadows in our pictures. So there is no such thing as the right histogram because the histogram will depend on your subject. Now the histogram is a chart which shows your representation of the bright to dark colors in your, or the tones in your picture um, plotted on an axis. So the more dark tones you have, the more the histogram has spikes to the, bot to the left side, the more bright tones you have, the more the bars are higher up to the right hand side. So now we're gonna have a look at the histograms for the images I shot in the metering video and we're going to talk you through them so that you can understand how to make the best use of the histograms on your camera. So now we're going to look at these pictures we've just photographed and we're going to look at particularly at the histogram. So I'm going to turn the histogram on by pressing the information button. That brings up the histogram. Depending on your camera you may need to press the info button a couple of times. But what we can see is our white wall which has been captured as mid-grey and sure enough our histogram has got the peaks right in the centre of the display which shows me there's no real highlights and there's not really much in the shadow zone. When we move forward to the next picture, which is of the black part of the wall, we've got a similar histogram, and again, it's a very grey tone black, but our histogram is right in the centre, and that's because we've taken a picture of black, but the camera is trying to render it as mid-grey. So that's why we're going to get overexposure in the case of this one. When we look at a picture with actually both the black and the white elements in, we can see we've got a spike in the black zone with a real black edge to here, and our whites are also pretty much up against the highlights. So it's given us a much more balanced exposure with both black and white recorded as black and white colours. So that now we've just seen how the histogram works on your camera. I'm Brian Worley for the Photographer Academy, and I'll see you on the next video.